Oh, how amazing was that? Yes, hey, with Chris. Thanks for watching this. Create with Chris. Yeah, that's Javier. Javier, you are the best. Yeah, save me doing an introduction this time. Have you sent that in? That is awesome. Thank you so much, my friend. Amazing. You obviously go to the same uh, guitar instructor that I do. Brilliant. Nice to see you, everybody. How are you doing? We're still here in the bunker doing this. Great to see you. Okay, um, before I forget, I want to say thank you to everybody that has sent in pictures and uh, sent in uh, create with Chris stuff and um, all the amazing art you've sent it. I've been blown away. It's been incredible. Keep doing that. Keep sending it in to um, at Chris White Poet. Use the hashtag create with Chris and that will find its way to me and I can share the arty love with the world. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, now let me just answer a couple of questions before we go any further, before we get our drawing on. Um, I've had a couple of questions. So First one is, um, people have been saying, Chris, enjoying your videos, but what books have you written? How can we get your books? Well, let me talk you through the books I have written very quickly, because uh, I don't want this to be all about me. It's about you. Um, the first book I ever wrote way back, in the, way back in the midst of time was Bitey the Veggie Vampire. That was a book of poems. And then I followed that up with Wang Fu the Kung Fu Shrew and other freaky poems too. Um, I don't know if you can get these books anymore. They were, they were published ages ago, years ago, probably before some of you were born. Then I came up with The Armadillo Under My Pillow, another book of poems, and finished that off with Shark in the Toilet. Oh, yes. Um, another book of poems there. That was awesome. And then, <clears throat> probably my biggest success, was the uh, poetry book Don't Put Dave in the Microwave. Um, the lead poem in this book is a little story about Dave the Hamster, um, who does look a bit like a potato on the front there. Um, and the perils of not putting your pets in a microwave. There's a lesson for us all there. Then there was Never Give a Duck a Pen. That was kind of a best of my poetry um, with, um, as I say, the best of it's quite thick actually, so I must have padded it out with some others. Um, and then, um, here was a proper serious book. Um, it was two books in one. Stumpy's Big Adventure, you read it to the middle, then you flipped it over and you got to read about the beast from the east. So that's a uh, two stories in one. Whew. And then with my good friend, Mr. Ian Billings, I wrote um, this poetry book uh, called Space Rocks, which is chock full of poems about space and aliens and different planets and that kind of thing which is also available as an app somehow on um, iTunes. If you go and put Space Rocks in there, you can get a little app. And then I wrote another story with the marvellous uh, marvelous title, Robots versus Princesses versus Unicorns versus Hamsters. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking that day. Um, but if you've ever wondered what happens when robots, princesses, and unicorns and hamsters get together and battle, then this is the book for you. After that, with my good friend, Misty, R Mr. R Misty, Misty Robin Price, Mr. Robin Price, who is also doing good things on YouTube. Check him out. He's doing some great uh, uh, write along sessions. Uh, we wrote this book called The Guinea Pig Bang about time traveling guinea pigs. Uh huh. Um, and then it was back to the poetry books with Woof Woof the Cat. There we go. That was uh, a little book. That's about a, a, a cat that goes woof. I'll tell you about that in another another episode of this. Then this little uh, pocket-sized book called Roar of the Dinosaur appeared, um, which was, that was bizarre. There were some strange creatures in that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, Penny Pickles Pet Potato, which you obviously know all about, having drawn Penny Pickles and indeed potatoes in an earlier episode. And then um, my latest, um, the A to Z of completely made up Dinosaurs. So there we go. You are up to speed. Thank you for all the questions about what books I have written. There they are. I tried my best with all of them. Um, some more successful than others. But there you go. And another question I had was, Chris, um, have you always written books? And I, I've got a little poem, actually, that uh, answers that question. Um, a few months ago, I stopped writing books as I wanted to do other things. I thought that it might do me good to try and spread my wings. So I started a chicken dating service. I thought it might be sweet, but it turns out there's no money in that and I struggled to make hens meet. So I tried writing for the theatre, but crowds stayed away in their herds. I had put on a show all about puns, or really just a play on words. 
So he opened a butcher's for giants, where fresh meat they could buy. But I messed up the measurements for the shelving, and the stakes were way too high. Then I started a business in building homes. I was going to build houses galore, but my plan to construct bungalows for dwarves had one tiny flaw. So I went to attempt one last thing, but it didn't last long, I admit. Yeah, I stopped making crystal balls pretty soon, because there was no future in it. I hope that's answered your questions. Okay, let's do some drawing. Let's do some drawing. Okay, let me find a clean piece of paper. He's blind, Farrah Johnson. There he is, there he is. Um, here we go. Piece of paper and a pen. I'm going to take it, you know how this works. You've already got one. I'm not going to pause the video this time. You, you've, you've got one handy. You walk around these days with a pen and a piece of paper strapped to your thigh. I'm sure you do. Okay, now, we're going back in time for this one, my friends. Way back. So far back. This could be the first poem ever written, okay? I'm sure this was scrawled on a cave wall somewhere in the uh, north of France or something. Um, grab your pen. We oui. drawing caveman. Okay, here we go. Uh, we want one round circle like this. It help if you talk like this, drawing, drawing this. Get into your inner caveman, or cave woman, or cave girl, cave boy, cave dog, cave hamster. Mm. Here we go. Another circle like this. Mm. And then two little dots in the middle. Beautiful. Okay, now, little nose like this. You got this? Good. Ah, now, this best bit. You go crazy. Here we go. We want lots and lots of hair. He's a very hairy caveman. Here we go. He look a bit like flour, but does not smell as sweet. Lots of hair. As much hair as you can take. There we go. Beautiful. He hairier than my grandma. She very hairy. Um, now, this caveman is called Ugg. After me, everybody. Here we go. One, two, three. Ugg. Beautiful. Little bit louder from you. Yes, please. Here we go. One, two, three. Nice. Okay, here we go. Uh, Ugg, he's wearing lovely little leopard skin number. Here we go. Something like this. I think he'd been to uh, Top Caveman. Few leopard spots on there. Very nice, very nice. So far, so Ugg. Now, he wants one arm this side with his four fingers. It little known fact, cavemen originally had four fingers and thumb grew over time. We, we may have to check that, I'm not sure if that's correct. Um, now, on other side, his arm like this, then thumb and hand. Now, very important, in hand we need club. Caveman, not proper caveman without club. Like big, uh, big chicken drumstick or knick-knack. You remember knick-knack? Do they still do knick-knacks? I'm not sure. Ooh, nice and spicy knick-knacks. Yeah, if you're watching people that make knick-knacks. Okay, Ugg have club. Now he need two feet. Here we go. One foot here. Four toes. Hairy leg. Very hairy. Very hairy. And other side. Here we go. Four toes again. Other hairy leg. Beautiful. Now, speech bubble. Here we go. He only know how to say one thing. Ugh. Beautiful. There we go. There is your caveman. Excellent. That is your drawing challenge for this time. Uh, your writing challenge. I was thinking, can I speak normally for a second? Thanks. Um, I was thinking, now, caveman. Okay. Um, maybe you can think how to write. Uh, that's the thing. I mean, your regular day these times, I mean, we're all locked in, aren't we? We, we can't go out. We're, we're locked in our homes. What would that be like if you were a caveman? Hmm. You would get up from your stone bed. Uh, you'd maybe have breakfast of um, T-Rex flakes. Then go out and kick your football around in the back garden, but your football wouldn't be a football. It'd be a, a boulder. That's got to hurt, hasn't it? Um, then you'd go on your 
iPad, a tablet, but an actual tablet made of stone. Yeah, so there's your writing challenge. How about that? I don't know. See what you can come up with. Um, let's finish off with a little poem um, all about Ugg. Now, I need your help with this one, my friends. In between the uh, lines, I want to hear a good Ugg. I'm going to assume you're doing it because I can't hear you. Here we go. <coughs> Pull up stone and listen. My name is Ugg, okay? They call me Ugg because only word my mum and dad can say. Ugg. Ugg thought he'd write a poem. It'd take a while, I bet. I'm writing with a chisel because there are no biros yet. My only clothes are leopard fur. Nothing ever fits. I wish somebody make y fronts to warm my chilly bits. This morning, invented wheel. Afternoon, invented car. But tomorrow, inventing traffic jam, so not get very far. Ugh. It boring being caveman. Not much to do at all. Until someone invent TV, me just draw on the wall. Sometimes Ugg like to chill out, just lying round at home, playing angry pterodactyls on Ugg's brand new eye bone. Ugg. Me rent a little cave for one. One day I like to buy, but must meet Mrs. Ugg first as mortgages sky high. Ugg. But women say Ugg hairy, and they not like it when I belch. Uh. But they all ugly anyway, except that Raquel Welsh. Ugh. Ask, ask your parents about Raquel Welsh. Yeah. Ugh, have pet T-Rex. He big in every way. Me have to have him put down though. He ate grandma yesterday. Ugh. Me really got to go now. Ugh have to get hair right. Ugh's friends are coming round soon. We going clubbing tonight. All together. Ugh. Very nice, everybody. Excellent. Okay, that's it for this episode of Create with Chris. I'm not going to sing anymore. I'm not going to play guitar. I'm going to hand this back over to my friend. Here we go. See you next time, everybody. All right. Take it away, my friend. <laughs>